All right, students, looks like you guys are working hard. Another one's asking about it, number 11, and I'm really glad about number 11 uh, because it's an uncertainty. And uh, this is the part I was saying in the supplemental lecture that I wanted to do the supplemental because I didn't really get a chance to talk about uncertainties. And this will give me a chance to talk about uncertainties yet uh, again. And so number 11 says, suppose that your bathroom scale reads a mass of 65 kilograms, but it has an accuracy, so plus or minus 3%. What is the uncertainty in of your mass in kilograms? So the supplemental lecture, I was showing you uh, problem number 24, where we converted absolute into percentages. This is the reverse of that. It gives you a percentage and it looks for the absolute. So it's 3% of that number. So maybe a quick math review. 3% means 0 0.03 in terms of a fraction. So it's 0 0.03 of 65. So 0 0.03 of 65 is what? 0 0.03 of 65 is about a 1.95, okay? Now, again, we should probably ask how many significant figures really are here because what do we mean by 3%? Is it 3 and I don't know? Probably. Uh, so really we're looking at just one significant figure. So this is probably just two kilograms. So the best way to answer this is to say it's 65 kilograms plus or minus two kilograms. Uh, I suppose you could go one more and say 1.9. Oh, it would round up anyways. And so maybe 2.0 wouldn't be unreasonable, depending on how strict we're going to be with our significant figures. And we won't be very strict. So we're a little careless uh, here. So that means our answer could be a little careless. All right. But there's a conversion from percentage to absolute. Whereas number 24, uh, if you're struggling with that, go to the supplemental uh, example. Uh, maybe I'll clip it off and send that out too as some help. But that is the other way around, going from absolute to percentage and then using it in a, in a calculation. Uh, all right. Hope that helps. Bye now.